and I'm beginning here. In Amakala, a 21,000 acre pioneering wildlife and conservation reserve just northeast of Port Elizabeth. Hard to believe there's a hotel down here. Now look, civilization. Mate. Yes, mate. I you had a good time. It's very remote. Something smells good. This is like an old-fashioned boy scouts camp with a central kitchen and campfire and the sleeping quarters behind the fence. Good evening. Hello, Greg. Rian Brand is camp cook and he's prepared an iconic South African dish for me to taste. Can I offer you a beer to start off with? Oh, mate, a nice cold beer. <laughs> I like it here. Hey, cheers. To your health. Yeah, to your health. Well, thank you. Mm. Oh, that's good on a hot day like today. What do we got? Tonight we're having a traditional South African poiki kos. Poiki. <laughs> it's when we cook in a cast iron pot. It's a stew, and this particular poiki is kudu and cream. A kudu poiki. Kudu poiki. Do you How's... know what a kudu is? Is it one of those little deers? No, it's one of those big antelope. The ones with the massive horns over there, that's a kudu. This must be a South African version of venison. So have you actually honestly cooked this like this? You put coals underneath and it takes about six hours, but uh, you eventually get there. Yeah. Fabulous, fabulous. Good, so let's set you up with a little bit of poiki. There's kudu, cream, mushrooms, onions. There we go. And a bit of rooster cook. And the rooster cook you almost use as a dipping bread. Now, let's have a look at this. Mm. Oh, that meat is really, really succulent. That tastes like the inside of a really good steak and kidney pie. Yes, that long, slow cooking oh, process. Oh, my friend. Let's have a go at this bread. Couldn't eat that with no teeth, could you? That's it's not a light like bread. It's got a heavy crust on it, yeah. Well, let me tell you, that is absolutely delicious. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. To your first poiki. To my first poiki. I don't think it's going to be my last. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>